Hi everybody, welcome to the one CNC tutorial on radial roughing. As you can see on the screen I've got myself a, a, a job with geometry in and the first thing you would need to do is put a point on the centre of where you want the radial centre to be. And as you can see on here I've got a, a, po a point there and if we go into the NC manager, lock it in position great model tool pass like plenty and Z level and what we're going to do is select radial select OK and the first thing the software says is pick a point, an end point well it's trying to look for the center point of where you want the radial to be or the center of the radial that's the point I want left click now I'm going to put a cutter in 12 mm cutter tool 1 spindle speeds etc next 5 and 1's are rapid next now the start angle is the same as it, it always is, it's 3 o'clock and a full circle is 360 so it's, it's the start angle is 0 and if I decided I want to come out in uh, a step angle 5 degrees uh, the included angle is the 360 degrees and at the moment I've got both directions selected uh, leave for finish 0.5 surface tolerance and depth of cut every three milli. Select next. I'm going to pick an extents box. Normal. Next. And I've told it there's a milli still on the top of the block. So if I select finish, and if I right click and simulate, uh, pick a boundary, select OK, left click, right click, and you can see it's gone in three milli. Lift it over and down come across, lift it over, come down so let's uh, turn that back to normal and you see, you can see it's machine in the top because I've told the stock's got one milli and it's coming round at five degrees round the angle Let it put the next cut on. And it puts the next cut on. This time it's not lifting out because uh, we told it there was one millimeters on the top. So if I right click and uh, edit operation, select next, next. The clearance was, uh, zigzag clearance was five, that's why it lifted over on the the other one. So start angle 0, 5, if I wanted to just go in one single direction and I get to choose whether I want to climb uh, climb mill or if I turn that off it will conventional mill. So if I go next, next and I'll take that one milli off the top, make that 0 and select finish. So if we simulate it now, select OK, left click, right click for the boundary you can see it's not cut in the top now because we've told it there's no material on there you also notice it's going in just one direction cut come up rapid back over down come along because we're just using uh, a single direction I just told it to conventionally mill that one, which as you can see is conventionally milling. If I right click, edit operation, and I'll tell it to climb mill this time. And finish. Right click, simulate, select OK, pick the boundary, right click. So now it's climb milling into the job, it's going, cut it into that way. speed it up a little bit okay so um, if you want to do radial roughing in one CNC this is how we do it hopefully that will help you get started and thank you for watching